And it's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard. And uh, I watched part one of this video and I liked it about halfway through when I didn't like it in the video. <laughs> I'm not as fond of it now as I was of it in the middle, like I said. So I've got some black and white paint and I'm thinking about practicing my, uh, my zebra-esque solutions to things because it's fun. And because I can, the name of my first book on the Amazon link. So I'm going to spread these out as best I can and see how I feel about where they're going. And use the flow of the paint, hopefully. I really like the results that I've been getting with the zebra. Drapey areas. If I leave the paint in the cup, in the pour cup too long though, I wind up with gray. So I'm hoping to do this in a rather quick fashion. And I'd like to put this in a bunch of places. And I think I'm just going to drag that down there with my finger. That's cool. Let's see what's next. I think right here. You could do these in really tiny ribbon dribbles also, which is definitely an option. You can keep an eye on which direction they're flowing in and try and give yourself the illusion of control. No, there is actually some control if you, if you practice. Like I said, I'm trying to keep what I've got moving in the direction I want it to. And being that this is a dry canvas, I am occasionally want to herd paint like so and just use the the weight of the paint will help it so if I get that to flow backwards again and I get a pool over here then I can flow over in this direction hopefully without turning everything gray please and right over the side and if I wipe off my spatula, well, you know what? I actually like that little droop. Right, so paint will flow to paint, and what do I like? I like to think that if I let them spread out enough that I can put lots of areas and good coverage or good cover upage. <laughs> I keep thinking I want to use this technique to do some kind of landscape layering too. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. So now, hopefully, I can make that all run right up there. And that's getting better, in my opinion, anyway. Let's see where else I would want that. This is a kind of funky little spot here. Now if I just put that puddle in right there, can I then immediately tip it down and lead it around and send it back again right into that little void, which wasn't bad, but could be better, I'm thinking. I kind of want to use a bamboo skewer. To lead some of that out, but it's going to be gray, so I have to be ready for that. All right, so what's next? That's a good question. I've got other stuff that I'm not super thrilled with. Let's put a little ring pour in there. 
Let's see what I can do with that. I've got things I like there too, so I don't really want to lose everything. And everything's going to move, well, the things that still have vast quantities of paint that haven't been spread out that far will still move. Looks like I've been getting to link things up, and I've got to get the paint off my hands pretty quick because I'm having issues with it sticking. So I'm going to do this. Let's see if I can link that. And I can, if I, if I can leave my paint heavy, it's okay because I use GAC 800 by Golden, which keeps heavy paint from cracking. And if this becomes dominantly black and white and has a better composition, I won't be unhappy with that. So I'm just going to pick my orangiest spots. And if I need an edge catcher, I'll use one, but so far I haven't needed one. I can still use one, though, right there. I'm going to get some much more organic shapes out of the rest of the things that I'm tipping around. I'm really actually beginning to like that, but I love this technique anyway. And my paint is getting a little gray, as you may be able to see, so I'm going to put a little more black in there. And a little more white, but not a lot. And I do have that gray thing happening. And I can't do too many areas at once, because if I do too many areas at once, I won't be able to keep an eye on everything. Then sometimes I look over and I'm like, wow, that's cool. Where'd that come from? <laughs> Such is the life of an accidental artist. I like to do accidental art on purpose. Does that make any sense? I don't know how much more I need to do in this. Um, if you turn your painting four ways and you like the balance in it, then you might be done. Being that I'm not so thrilled with the yellow, I'm okay with getting rid of some of that. And if I let it flow in the opposite direction from the direction I intend on letting it flow into, then my shapes will become more interesting still. I just noticed I have... You know what? I kind of like that dot. <laughs> Let's see if I can get a few more of those. No. Gray dots, not necessary. So I did pretty well. I didn't overfill my jug, and uh, I don't have as much gray as I was afraid I might. And I can just put straight on ribbons down wherever I want. And those might be pretty cool as well without making any serious excessive. Let's do that. I like that mark a lot. Even more than I <laughs> even more than I anticipated. And that one's not bothering me either. I think it's time to do, I'm going to try a little more white, because I'm pretty sure I can still do a ring pour with some white and some gray and have it turn out to be something interesting. I'm hoping, anyway. I'm watching my other paint move. <laughs> I'm a nervous girl. So 
So I've got this, this area right here almost over the edge and I can use my finger to help that along. And now I am a very happy camper. Don't ask me why, but anyway, so I got to ask you guys, can you please watch the videos longer to help my placement on YouTube? It's the only thing that the YouTube, YouTube algorithm understands, and I would love to have more people be able to see me, considering that I have 86,000 subscribers, or very, very close, near, very, very nearly, and only a few hundred people watch me at a time, so you should also be, if you're interested in watching any more of my videos, you might want to check the 1,200 videos I have on my channel, my playlists. Um, there are 10 playlists of, no, there are 12 playlists of 100 now, and there are also, um, like 13 lists of genres, like orbs or spirals or gardens or what have you. Yeah, I'm not interested in wasting my paint, and I've got tendrils flowing out of my, out of my ring pour cup, and I'm really liking them a lot, so maybe one more squirt of white will help me because it's not hurting me and I will lose you guys shortly it is not bothering me adding some waggly lines hopefully my head hasn't obscured all of that process I'm almost done I love you guys Check out my Teespring clothing below the video. Check out my Amazon link below the video. If you shop there, it's at no added cost to you and it helps me out and I really need help right now. Uh, as most creators do to try and keep painting, my monthly drawing brings in some money toward art supplies and I really appreciate and want to say thank you to everybody who contributed last month. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. You've stocked me up while this disaster goes on out around us so I can continue to paint for you and for me. And... Uh, that one white dot is making me crazy. So, rather than get rid of it, let's just add a couple more. And I've got plenty of time left. And this is, this is like the coolest thing, but it doesn't really look like my usual is like everybody thinks things look like undersea scapes. If it does, tell me what, because I don't know. <laughs> I'm just using up my paint and dotting things out and having a ball. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I did forget to go ahead and find my crib sheet from last time. I'm not sure where it could be either. So if you share my videos, you help me out. If you watch them longer, you help me out. I really appreciate your thumbs up and uh, your comments make my day. And, uh, and your donations through PayPal or Patreon. The links you can find underneath the video and on my channel header. It's a $10 minimum to get in the monthly drawing. I'm not sure. I'm about to make the uh, exhibition video. You can always find the exhibition video on the end screens of any video because I bulk edit that. Yes, that was correct. Let's just keep that going right up there. Um, I gotta go find that crib sheet. <laughs> Darn. You'll see another video maybe and uh, you'll know what I'm supposed to tell you. Facebook groups expression to start studio gallery appreciation group is for students. Facebook expression to start studio gallery totes and more or maybe not gallery. Anyway, totes and more. You'll find them. They all start with expression to start studio um, and move on from there. Totes and more is for shopping and uh, fans and collectors is for people who are in the mood to appreciate whatever I have edited so far from the YouTube videos and I'm not I'm only 400 behind <laughs> I've been a little busy so I love you guys I will see you anon keep an eye out for my creative playlists under playlists on my channel there's 1200 videos there you'll have a ball leave me a comment I love you guys binge watch for me would you bye for now this is Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill Florida at Expression Start Studio Gallery saying I'll see you anon Priscilla out <laughs>